Hi everyone, it's Mr Glenn here. It's the evening. I've been teaching music now for 20 years, maybe longer, and games are a really good way of learning, is what I've discovered. And the game that I'm going to do with you today, the imagination game, I've been, I've been doing it on and off with all kinds of age groups, from young children to grown-ups, and everybody everybody gets something out of this game. So I would encourage all of you watching this video to join in. Don't just see this as an activity for children because uh, the imagination game is, is very special. It's very, very simple. And it's just something called active listening, where rather than just music being something in the background, which is what we find most of the time in our lives, music is just the background. It just happens to be on or not. Um, but when you occupy the music, when you become a part of the music and you allow the music to stimulate your imagination, you have a very different experience. So that's what I'm going to encourage you and the kids to do today with the imagination game. So here's the imagination game. I'm going to play you three pieces of music on the guitar and your job is to listen. And that's it. Just listen. Try not to make any decisions about what it is you think you're going to see in the music. They're going to be really short. They're only like 30 seconds long, really short pieces. So I want you just to do a little bit of breathing first. I'll take you through it. Relax, close your eyes, and then let the, uh, let the music paint a picture for you in your imagination. And for the younger children, I say something like, um, what would be the film? What would be going on in the film? Uh, when this music was playing, what would be happening at this point in the movie? Um, because music's very descriptive like that. So welcome to the imagination game. Find a nice place to sit still uh, so you can relax and close your eyes and you won't be disturbed for a few minutes. Okay, are you sitting comfortably? Somewhere you're not going to be disturbed. I'm going to play the first piece of music now. Take a deep breath in through your nose. Out through your mouth. In through your nose, out through your mouth, relax your shoulders, close your eyes and see what you see to this piece of music. Okay, open your eyes. I'll give you about 10 seconds to tell me what picture you saw. What did you see? Off you go. Thank you. Well done. Here comes the second piece of music. Okay. Here it is. Here's the second piece of music. It's very different to the first one. I'm going to play it on a different guitar. I'm going to play it on a steel string guitar, not the classical nylon string guitar, which is all soft and warm and lovely. This is all bright and cheerful. So it's going to be quite a different picture. Okay. So don't have any preconceptions. Don't have any. Don't have any fixed idea as to what you're going to see. Let your imagination do the work. You do absolutely nothing. Step out of the way and just let your imagination do the painting. Okay. Here comes the piece of music. It's very short. Relax your shoulders. Breathe in through your nose. Out through your mouth, close your eyes, and off you go. Give you about 10 seconds to tell me what you saw. Off you go. It's fun, isn't it? Well done. Great. Okay, we've got one more piece of music to go. Okay? Get yourself ready. 
Okay, here's the third and final piece. I'm going to play this on the mandolin. So it's got a very different flavour to it, and uh, it's very good for the imagination, so I'm expecting some interesting pictures. And also, this one's a bit more sophisticated, because this, this is going to have three parts in it, not just one main melody. It's going to have three different themes. So just be aware, look out for what your imagination is going to do with these three different parts of the tune. You might have the same picture, and you might find that it switches. Okay, So be open-minded. Here we go. Sit back and relax. Deep breath in through the nose, out through the mouth, in through the nose, out through the mouth. Close your eyes, open your imagination, and let's go. Open your eyes, give you 10 seconds, tell me what you saw. Well done, thank you. Did you enjoy that? Brilliant, okay, so it's called the imagination game. And what's really interesting is about the imagination game is this. Maybe 50 people might watch this video and there will be 50 different pictures to go with each piece of music. Very, very few of them will be identical. They might be similar because of the style of the music and we associate different pictures with different music. But everybody's imagination is different and everybody will attach different pictures to those pieces of music. So I'd be really interested to know what it was that you did see. Uh, and if you want to do me a picture of that and put it back on the home learning, I'd really love to see what you saw in the imagination game. Very well done. Also, can I just say to you that if you want to do the imagination game, you don't need to wait for me to do this. I'll do this again next week. You don't need to wait for that. You can just lie down with headphones on, on the sofa, and listen to a piece of music, a random piece of music, something you haven't heard before. Ask, you, ask your adults if they can find you a piece of music that you've never heard. Put it on the headphones, lay down, relax, and listen to it, and see what happens. You might fall asleep. That's okay. And you might see something amazing, and you ha might have a really amazing experience. Okay? So play the imagination game for yourself. If you'd like to do me a picture of one of the things that you saw during the Our Imagination game, I'd love to see that on Home Learning site. Take care. Bye-bye-bye.